Hey everybody, Who's Your Jedi here with another review for you. This time I'm talking episode 18 of Avengers Assemble called Mojo World. And overall, I thought this episode was okay, but eh, I mean, that's really all it was. It was just kind of a run of the mill episode. Now, uh, there were a few things about this episode that I did like. Um, we get to see cameos by a few, quite a few of the various well-known alien races in the Marvel Universe, like the Kree and the Skrulls and uh, <clears throat> the Brood. We also get uh, some cameos by, oh yeah, we got, we got to see the Watchers, of course. We also got some cameos by um, some of more Marvel's more cosmic characters, like Impossible Man and Tana Nile, of all people, although I have this vague sense that she might have appeared on the show briefly before. So that was all cool, and I definitely like the uh, the gladiator outfit that they put the Hulk in, because uh, that's essentially the uh, nod to the gladiator outfit that the Hulk wore in the uh, very famous nowadays storyline uh, Planet Hulk, uh, which is actually quite a good story. <clears throat> so uh, there, so there was that, but the whole thing with uh, you know him and Hawkeye getting into a thing over pickles and little glass animals, and honestly, the, I think the weakest part of this whole episode was the, just the use of Mojo as a villain. Now Mojo is primarily an X-Men villain, and honestly, I best remember him from his appearance on the '90s X-Men cartoon. I haven't really read very many comics that he's appeared in. And the problem with Mojo is that he's got a shtick, and that's really all that he has going on. Mojo is basically the ultimate corrupt TV executive, and everything about Mojo is related to that. And he constantly talks in TV terms and blah, blah, blah. Canceled is his term for killing someone. And again, he's a real one-note, one-trick pony kind of villain. And there's really not a whole lot to him besides that. And, um, well, one other thing with this episode, and I like how they, I, I don't know, okay, I take that back. I don't actually like it. Hawkeye flat out says, oh, who puts an exposed control panel on the bottom of their hover chair? Well, this is one of those situations where pointing out that you're throwing out something that's really just a stupid plot contrivance and then pointing out this is a stupid plot contrivance does not excuse the fact that you are using a stupid plot contrivance <clears throat> um i was also a little disappointed that we didn't get to see the character of spiral who is a character from the comics normally very strongly associated with mojo but uh, to be completely fair, in more modern more modern times, she's sort of broken away from him and kind of gone off to do her own thing, as best I understand it. But, eh, you know, I just kind of always see those two as uh, being tied. She basically kind of started out as Mojo's assistant, or for lack of a better term. But, uh, you know, eh, can't have everything. And it certainly was interesting to see the Avengers dealing with someone who's primarily an X-Men villain. And, of course, we shall be grateful that we didn't get an appearance by the X-Babies or their Avengers counterpart, the Mighty Avengers. And if you have no idea what I'm talking about, please consider yourself lucky, because it's really, really, really stupid. <sighs> and, um, let's see. Uh, the character of Torgo. Now, if he's from the comics, I don't recognize him. And I was kept looking at those aliens gladiators they fought in the arena to see if they were anybody that I recognized. But again, apart from the brood alien, uh, no, I didn't recognize any of them. And um, <clears throat> apart from that, I really don't have a lot to say about this episode. As I said, it just felt really, really run of the mill. There were too many things that were specifically wrong with it, besides just having a very one note villain and a really huge plot contrivance. It just doesn't really stand out terribly in any real way. Anyway, guys, that's all I have for you this time around. Of course, you can follow me on Twitter at Who's Your Jedi. And, and until next time, please take care and have a good one.